It may be a niche and high-end brand, but it has enjoyed 600% growth for its business in India last year and expects further growth this year as well. We're talking of Rolls-Royce, uh, which has plans to expand its deal network and is looking at new derivatives uh, of its immensely successful ghost car platform. Siddhartha Naik Patankar met with the company's global CEO for this exclusive. Yeah, it was outstanding for us last year. Uh, we saw 600% growth. Uh, and sold uh, 80 cars here in the Indian market, which is unbelievable, which shows also the economic power here in that country. And uh, as it is, uh, the second fastest growing market in the whole Asia-Pacific area, for us, it is one of our major important markets. It also becomes your, your third biggest market of the region, doesn't it? Exactly, exactly. So we are currently looking into expanding also our dealer network here in India because I'm personally convinced that we see even more potential than only, only 80 cars a year. Uh, so I would not be, uh, let's say, surprised if we would see a three-digit number already for next year. And uh, as I said, we are currently looking into partners uh, who are prepared to invest in a dealer. We are currently looking into potential derivatives of uh, the ghost. Uh, um, this is currently clicking in my mind, to say it that way, but we haven't made any decisions yet. Yeah. No, sorry, but. <laughs> but, but you are definitely looking at the potential yeah. of this new segmentation. Exactly. Having said that, you'll still never be even close to being called a mass manufacturer. So. Um, What's the, where do you see that sort of potential? I mean, do you, do you sort of cap it off in your mind when you're thinking of new products or new product areas? I mean, one thing is very important. We will always stay extremely exclusive and by that also very much limited with volume because this is exactly what our discerning customers are asking for. You don't want to see a Rolls Royce at every single street corner. So for that reason, we will uh, um, deliberately limit the volume also of our brand in the world. Uh, but anyhow, if you talk about 2,000 cars or 4,000 cars, it is always what I call a little, very precious <coughs> drop in the overall sea or in the overall ocean of automotive business. I have to tell you, uh, you know, a couple of months ago, I think, in Delhi, I saw two ghosts within the span of about 12 seconds. <laughs> so I was a bit shocked by that. <laughs> in terms of allocation of units, though, um, we know that you, as many cars as you'll supply, I think there would be takers for it. How do you find that right balance? Um, we have currently invested into what is called our bespoke business, which even allows you to individualize your car even more. And this is a, a very proven thing here for the Indian market because more or less every Rolls Royce which goes into the Indian market is very much bespoke. And we needed to increase the capacity also in Goodwood to cope with the demand out of India. So um, I'm quite optimistic that we can cope with the demand which is coming now, but of course you never know. Yeah? If the market is booming, let's wait and see.